Hey everyone, Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today we're doing another one of those crazy and fun challenges. So today, because I saw this a lot in the comment section, there were a lot of train related challenges and I figured I, I had one of my own, like one of my own ideas. So I figured we start with that one. We're over here by Mount Chiliad. We're going to use this tunnel entrance. And if you are a frequent watcher of my channel, especially on the top five deaths, you would know that I have a problem with light poles. Me and light poles do not get along. I would say about 50% of the deaths that occur in GTA Line are from light poles. So I figured what better way to combat the train than with light poles. I don't know if this is going to work because we all know the train is all powerful and almighty. But I figured we'd see what would happen. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cover this entire, I'm going to try and cover this tunnel with light poles. And we're going to see when the train spawns, we're going to see if it decides to go through or if we finally can stop it. So if you do enjoy this video and you like these GTA challenges, please take a second out of your day to drop the video a like. That'd be awesome. And subscribe if you want to see more of these. Now, while I'm getting into the menu, if you have any other challenges, as always, just let me know in the comments. Or you can tweet them at me if you really want to. Here is the train. Let's wait for it to pass. And what we're going to do, we're going to spawn entity. Then we're going to go to object. Let us search light. And if we scroll down, we should find one that is a light pole. There's a bunch of... You know what? I might use a bunch of different options here. Alright, as you can see, I just got done placing, I think it's about 100 or so. I can't go through them. So this this might be the toughest challenge yet for the train. I mean, this is like the immovable object meets the unstoppable force, basically. Because we all know those god dang light poles are unstoppable. <laughs> and, well, they're not really immovable. I don't know what's going to happen here. I, I wonder if, if a train, it works like a car where if it hits it, they all just fall down. I don't know. I put some uh, some extra ones on the side there. I don't even know. You know what? Let's make this at nighttime. Let's see if the lights even come on. Oh, and the train's coming. Do the lights come on? Oh, my God. The lights are on, baby. Let's go. My frames are at like six. Here we go. This is the moment of truth. Light poles, don't fail me now. Pause. Real quick before the train comes, let me know in the comment section what your prediction is. What do you think is going to happen? Will the lights stop it? Will the train just plow through? Or will something else happen entirely? What? What? Wait, what? No, it goes through them? No. What? Oh, that's anticlimactic. Well, if you guessed that right, then congrats. Are you kidding? Okay, hold on. I can't make this. It's 16 frames per second. Does it really... Do <sighs> Who makes the train in this game? Hashtag Rockstar Logic. Come on. Really? You're telling me a hundred light poles, they, the freaking train just phases through. How come I can't go through then? Huh? What the heck? Okay. You know what? I know why. I got an idea. We all know that the light poles are nothing without their counterpart, the police. So what I'm going to do, I guess even though these light poles don't really matter because we found out the train just goes right through them. What we're going to do is we're going to, once the next train comes by, I'm going to line this entire place up with as many police cars as I can. And we're going to see what happens. Because now we get the two most OP and annoying things in online against the train. Light poles and the police. All right. Test number two. As you can see. Uh, in addition to the light poles, which apparently, I guess, don't do anything. We have a bunch of cop cars in here. I did not be specific or precise with them because I figured they're going to get blown up anyway. But here we go. It's showtime. 
All right, you know what? It's going to be like, we're not going to expect it. Let's see what happens. Come on, cop cars. I believe in you. I believe. Okay, they're not doing a damn thing. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cops, cars, what are you doing? I thought you were better than this. Okay, well, that was. <laughs> okay. That one cop car, he's still going, man. He was still trying. I'll give him A for effort. Well, okay, I guess it seems. <laughs> what? And what? And what? What is going on? Why are there floating cop cars? Where did this guy come? How did he live through all of that? Now I have more questions than answers. What the heck? For real? Who is this? Who is this? That guy's a baller. He just came out of like a million cop cars that blew up and a what? I what? Any can anyone in the comments explain that? I I'm so confused. Where did he go? Did he just die? Did he vanish? He's not a, he's not here anymore. He's gone. He literally just dis disappeared. What the heck was that? Okay, well, I guess we answered one question. Cops, cars, and light poles don't do a damn thing against a train. But another question replaced it. Who the hell is that guy? I did not spawn him in. Where did he come from? And how did he walk through all of this? I am so confused right now. Well, that might that might be the question we answer in the next episode. Because I, I literally have no idea where he come, came from. It's not like NPCs just casually walk into the train. But they he can't even get in because the the light poles. So how did he get in? I, there's no door. <gasps> he came in through the door. <gasps> Yo, we found the chili and mystery. There's another door. It's the chili and mystery. Light poles plus cop cars plus train equals mystery man that disappears at the end of the tunnel. Did we just see a ghost? I. I am okay. Well, that car is humping that. <sighs> I'm really confused right now. I'm gonna try and just process what happened. Uh, if anyone would like to comment on that, I, let me. Cause look, I you a person cannot walk through here, and I don't believe. I mean, not that an NPC could even do what I'm about to do. But yeah, there's no there's no part on the side either that he can come come through. So how did he get in? Anyway. I think that's it with for this challenge, yo. We're that's creepy. I, like I'm just trying to have some fun and see what happens with the train, and then we get some ghost or, or some. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, drop a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more awesome GTA content. See you all in the next one. And look, here we have. Let's see if it if it happens again. I don't. I don't know if it will because all of these are destroyed. But I don't know. This, I'm really confused. Let's see. We're going to sit back here. We're going to see what happens. Maybe maybe that was like a once in a lifetime event. Did I crack some Easter egg? See, now nothing's even going to happen now because the train, it already, it already pushed everything out of its way. Yeah, there's nothing else to push. Well, I don't know what this this episode answered. Some more floating cars. See you all in the next one. As always, it's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.